I look tore up today, and I don't even care. I don't know what to do or say today, so I'm gonna answer some questions again on top. I guess today we can do another thing on, like, advice, because I have questions. Also, what I want to have for breakfast today, which is probably not the best breakfast. It's my partner in crime this morning. I kind of regret it because now all the sugary goodness is in my veins. And now I can sing that song to the box of Cheerios. You know what song I'm talking about? Andrew Bell. Oh, you're in my veins. And I cannot get you out. I really can't though. It's too late for that now. If it looks like I haven't gotten any sleep, it's probably because I haven't gotten any sleep. Hi. So how is everybody? What was I saying? Let me pull up these questions for you really quick, okay? First question says, what do you do if your boss noticed and sus... What? What do you do if your boss suspects that you're gay? He noticed and suspects that you are gay. Why did I make him a he? But what do you do if they do? Well, technically, it depends on you. If you think this is a bad thing and you don't want him to know that you're gay, it's, isn't it some kind of, like, law that they can't fire you or they can't dismiss you or, or terminate you for your sexual orientation? I think it is. At least, from what I know, in the States, they can't do that because you can probably most likely take them to court. I don't know. I mean, it's really up to you how you handle it. I can't really tell you much because if I were in that position, I would just let them suspect. I'd just let them think what they want. And as long as I'm doing my job right, as long as I'm not doing anything to jeopardize the company that you're with or your job or anything that has to do with that, then just go about your business and don't care about what other people think or what your boss thinks. As long as you're not disrespecting them or they're not disrespecting you, I think you should be okay. And if they ask you, it's up to you if you want to be honest or not. I think you should just worry about yourself and that's what's most important. Okay, here's an, another ex-girlfriend question. I broke up with my ex- I broke up with my ex-girlfriend and after the breakup, she went back to her ex and we didn't talk for a while. She unfollowed me on everything. However, since we worked together, it was kind of necessary. We would talk once in a while. One time we tried texting, but I turned her down because I knew she was with someone. However, we no longer work together. Um, I lost my spot. Typical Stacy. Mm, always getting distracted. However, we no longer work together, and I was just talking to my friend the other day, and it just got me thinking, do you think it would be a bad idea if I requested to follow her on, like, Instagram? I don't want anything, but I just wish you could be friends again. Do you think it's possible? It's really hard to give you advice on this because ask yourself if you really do want to be friends or if it's for something more. You never know. You might have feelings lingering there. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's something where, like, you feel a little bit of, like, I don't know, maybe you're still upset about the fact that she broke up with you and then shortly after she was already in a relationship. Maybe if you guys are friends because of that, that mom might come back. I don't, I don't know. I personally don't really like to be friends with my exes or anything like that because it's just weird. As much as you try, it's really hard to be friends for most of us. I don't, it's not like that for everybody, but... For me, I can't, not because I have feelings or anything like that, because it's just really weird in a, in a weird way, you know what I mean? Like, I like to just move forward with my life. I don't stay friends with a lot of my exes, to be honest with you, especially, like, the most recent ones. I don't, I act like I have, like, so many of them, and I didn't. It's also in respect to whoever I date in the future. I don't like to keep in contact with my exes because I feel like it's, in a way, and I could be wrong, but I feel like, to me, in a way, it's, it's a little... It's a little disrespectful, but that's just me because I just don't feel like it's necessary for me to talk to somebody from my past, you know, when we had a past. Just in respect to my girlfriend, to my new girlfriend, to whoever I'm dating, if I'm in a serious relationship, I just like to have that respect for her because, you know, she deserves it and I would like the same thing, you know, and it's not always going to happen the same way. I'm not always going to get the same respect back, but I have a sense of peace in my heart in my mind knowing that I'm being respectful towards my girlfriend so I again like if you know that there's actually no feelings or there's nothing like that anymore then hey go for it but as long as you know that you're not going to get hurt just know the consequences of doing it you're going to see everything she does you're going to see everything she posts with her new girlfriend or 
or whatever. And if you know that's not going to hurt you, then go for it. Just be aware of what could happen. Be conscious of the fact that it might be just friends for you, but she might think that you're trying to get back at her or stalk her or something. I don't know. You know how girls think and some boys. So I wish you the best of luck with that. Dear Stacy, I want to cut my hair short and style it like a faux hawk. But I'm scared what people, family, friends, etc. would think. I don't want to get made fun of and called a dyke. I already am being made fun of for being lesbian. What do you think I should do? I'm having a crisis and I need help fast. First things first, the fact that you're getting made fun of, I know makes it so much harder to make decisions like this. People are cruel. And they're going to be cruel for the rest of our lives. We're going to deal with people like that. We're going to encounter people who are jealous. We're going to encounter people who are rude, bitter, unfriendly. And we just need to learn... The fucking phone would fucking... Oh, wait. Okay. We're going to deal with these people. And we just need to learn how to, like, ignore them. And how to, you know, get, get through that crap without letting it affect our lives because we haven't noticed we control our emotions we let certain things get to us and certain things we don't let get to us we gotta let a lot more things not get to us when you know it's stuff like this like making a decision and not knowing what the heck to do or what to what decision to make because you're scared of what other people are going to think and that's what a lot that's how a lot of us are we let that get to us and, and a lot of the times when we do let it get to us it ruins us so we need to just do our best to ignore the negative comments or the negativity and stay stick with the positivity because if not your 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 life and everything you do you're going to live it very very like like you're walking on eggshells it's just one of those things where it's like something where you just got to brush it off and, and not let it get to you if it takes you cutting your hair short and styling it in a faux hawk and doing it how you want to do it and that makes you feel comfortable that is what is far more important than what that person down the street thinks of you or the kid in your class thinks of you or the guy at work thinks of you. That's far more important because guess what? They're not living your fucking life. You are. So if you're going to have to be walking the fucking streets feeling horrible because your hair is not how you want it or how you like it, then that's not a way to to really go about your day and your life. So if you want that change, you can make that change. So just you know, ignore the fucking haters. My girlfriend of two years and I just broke up two and a half weeks ago, and she already has a new girlfriend. When I texted her and asked her how that was even possible, she said she hadn't been in love with me for most of our relationship. How do you get over something like that? Not only does she have someone new, but apparently our relationship was a lie. Stuff like this makes me sad because a giant piece of your relationship is honesty. And just throughout life you know what they say honesty is the best policy you have to be honest about a lot of things if you don't like something be honest about it my question to you is do you really want to be hung up on somebody who fucking lied to you don't you think that you deserve somebody who would not lie to you who would be honest with you whenever she started feeling those feelings and said hey you know what? i'm starting to feel like maybe things are not going well um, I'm not feeling the same way. Like, wouldn't you want somebody who's going to be honest with you like that as opposed to somebody who waited so fucking long, according to them, knowing that they weren't into you anymore, knowing that they didn't want anything to have to do with any relationship and just stayed there because they felt bad or stayed there because they didn't have the guts to bring it up to you? As far as how somebody gets over you like that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it could be that she really did not have any more feelings towards the end or towards half of the relationship, which, again, is very sad. And why the fuck would you want to have somebody around like that? that when there are plenty of people out there who would love to be honest with you and who would love to take the time to let you know what's on their mind because communication is key right so where the fuck that communication went I don't know but you don't want to be with somebody who's not going to take your feelings and your true feelings and your heart into consideration you want somebody who's going to be there and tell you straight up what's going on even if you have to pry it out of them a little bit but they're going to end up telling you you want somebody who's going to treat you with the utmost respect and not completely just get into a relationship two and a half weeks later like do you want that they are not worthy of like your sadness even though it takes two in a relationship and something could have gone wrong with you and her you know nobody's uh, i'm not singling out anybody maybe it was more her maybe it was more you maybe it was both of you maybe i don't know what happened but the best thing to do is just own up to whatever you may have done learn from that mistake right and Apply it to your life in every aspect that it applies to. Apply it to your new relationship. My best advice for you is just realize that you don't deserve somebody like that in your life. Oh, Sorry, that was so cute. It's the cutest thing. Let me tell you guys what happened, okay? I'm going to tell you guys what happened. 
Uh, Jessica texted me and she said, <laughs> Jessica, I'm going to show everybody what you just texted me. I hope you know. She texted me and she said, I walked outside to my car and I see this on my windshield with a cute little note. Look how cute that is. Oh, that's adorable. I'm so, so freaking happy. That's so fucking cute. Okay. In conclusion, just realize that, that you deserve somebody who's not going to treat you like that. And who's going to actually fucking care enough to, you know, say, hey, I'm not feeling this way. I'm going to let you know right now. Um, if we can't fix it, it's best to break up. And also, why would you want to have somebody in your life who's going to get over you that quickly and jump into a relationship and not even respect themselves or the relationship that you had? She maybe did owe it to your relationship and to herself, most importantly, to give herself some time and work on the things that maybe she wasn't able to do when she was with you. But from my experience, just work on yourself and take your own feelings and your heart and everything and heal it up. Do the things that you like to do. Figure yourself out. Take time for yourself and the next person will come along whenever you least expect it. There's no need to go find them. There's no need to, you know, do any of that. So I wish you the best of luck as well. And I hope that you realize that you're important and you're worthy, far more worthy than this. And uh, don't let yourself or anybody else tell you otherwise. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys are enjoying your day or your night or whatever time of day it is. Just remember if anybody's trying to give you a hard time, don't let them give you a hard time. I'll be back sometime this week, and I will have another video for you guys. In the meantime, you can watch all my other videos. You already know. We can go on my Tumblr. You can go on my Instagram. You can do whatever you want to do. And I will be talking to you guys next time that you see me. Bye.